This is number one on the sample productivity calculations worksheet. It gives us, we put plants in a bottle, we have our starting oxygen concentrations, and then our oxygen concentrations one hour later. Um, from this, we're expected to calculate the primary productivity, both gross and net, and the amount of respiration. If you understand what's going on in the dark and what's going on in the light, you're good. When a plant is in the dark, Obviously, there's no photosynthesis, but respiration does occur. However, when a plant is exposed to light, it's going to undergo photo and respiration. From this, we can figure out a few of these things. First of all, this is primary productivity because it's a producer, and net primary productivity equals gross primary productivity minus R, R being respiration. In the dark, the concentration went from 8 milligrams per liter down to 5, meaning we used 3 milligrams per liter of oxygen. That 3 is the amount lost to respiration. In the light, photosynthesis and respiration were occurring. When we have both, things occurring, that is net. Our concentration went from 8 up to 2, I'm sorry, up to 10, which is a change of 2, giving us our net primary productivity of 2. Net primary productivity equals gross primary productivity minus R. And I can solve for the gross primary productivity of 5 milligrams per liter. Summarizing my findings, net primary productivity, gross primary productivity, and R. Net is 5, excuse me, net is 2, gross is 5, respiration is 3. Each one of these was in milligrams per liter. Over the course of one hour, <clears throat> we could be expected to adjust that value for a longer period of time, perhaps a day or a year or something like that.